Here she is. Sweet dad. What was happening with the surrounding tissue didn't look like you debrided much. There were no signs of erosion or burns. There was slight redness, but no significant damage. She'll make a good recovery. Thank you. She's a little trooper. She'll be drowsy for a while, but we'll keep an eye on her overnight. But there shouldn't be any long term effects. Okay. So lucky. Thank you. Don't mention it. Feels like we dodged a bullet. More well, toys with batteries. You can say that again. I can't believe we could have lost her. Can we call a truce? Not a real one this time. Well, we've got three kids who need you and me to be on good terms. Can we do that for them? You haven't stopped blaming me since this happened. Oh, I seem to recall you getting a few shots in there yourself. Maybe it is my fault. I've been selfish and focused on myself for months. Harper. All of my decisions have led to our daughter being on an operating table. Don't say that. I should probably go and check on Molly and Billy. Something else I was right about. You're a good mum. No matter how I feel about all that other stuff, the things you've done to us and our family, True. I was more scared than I thought it was possible to be. And I wanted, needed someone to blame. It was an accident. Let's just focus on this little one, shall we? You were in Sky Surgery. Nicole took it. She insisted. Did she? Look, I'm glad Nicole is back. And I'm happy to share D.O.N. with her. Look, she, she cares about Harper and Drew. We all do. I was trying to help. I thought she should be away from something so emotional. Well, what are you saying? Was she not... Was she not okay? I don't know. And please don't say anything to her. She really just wants to get back to normal. You know, after everything. What we want and what we're ready for aren't always the same thing. Oh, uh, word three. Thanks, Trish. She just seemed a little intense, I guess. Some detective was here earlier, and it seemed to upset her. Detective Tavuki? Nicole recognized him. Is it something to do with Louisa? What did he say? Nothing. He probably was just here about an assault. Hi. Where are we at now? You're back. Is Sky okay? Yeah. What have we got? That's great, Nick. So it all went well? Yeah, yeah, it went, it went well. She's going to be fine. Great, that is a relief. So we can just stick to the original plan, shall we? Sky is a Pete's patient. Sure. But can you just let me know if you need to dash off somewhere else, though? Absolutely. Dashing off? She's exaggerating. Um, Madonna said you saw Tufuki. Was he bothering you? No, he was just here again. Nick, it's not... No, no, it, just leave it, OK? I should probably get back to it. So Madonna's not on my case again. Look, I know she's trying to be compassionate or whatever. Can you pass the salt? It just, yeah, it just makes me feel self-conscious. Well, to be honest, I felt like she was more frustrated you didn't stick to the plan for where you'd both be. Well, don't you think you'd want to look after Sky as well? Yeah. But? Well, I'd find it difficult. Someone I was close to. Oh, well, we can't always help it, can we? Just go easy on yourself. Look, can you stop? I don't need to go easy on myself. I just want to do my job and get back to normal. Okay, then. Louisa is gone. Okay? And I just want to forget that it ever happened. Right, well, tell me about Sky's surgery. You went well? I already told you. Okay? She's going to be fine. It's good news. Who are you looking for? Detective Tabuki. No, I'm, I'm just trying to get on with my life and I'm being harassed by that detective. You think he's here for you and Cassie? Maybe. I mean, it's happened too many times for it to be a coincidence, right? Right, we'll make a complaint. What do we have to complain about? I mean, this is a public place. He can justify a million different reasons for being here. So what's the point? Nick, I just... No, I just... Just leave it, OK? I just... I want to get on with my job. That's all I want. Oh. Is Sky going to actually be all right? Of course she is, darling. She just needs to have a little sleep over here with the doctor so they can check on her, but she is going to be absolutely fine. 
I'm sorry I made her sick. I didn't see what she had and then it was gone. Hey, looking after Sky is not your job. Your mum and I were distracted and we shouldn't have been. None of what is happening is your fault. When Sky comes back home, will mum come home too? No, well, no. Um, I will... I'll come back to make sure that the sky's all settled in and you're all OK. And you'll be able to see both of us. But Mum doesn't live with us now. That hasn't changed. Just can't help yourself, can you? Confusing them won't do any good. Not in the long run. I thought... What? Oh, I need some air. We need to talk about what happened in Sky's surgery. What happened? Nothing. Phil did a great job. Nicole. What, I didn't jump to attention quick enough for you, so you had to come have a go? It was more than that, and you know it. You were spaced out. Are you talking about Sky's surgery? No, I was... No, you are. I saw you freeze. Nick. No, I didn't. You've been through a traumatic time. What does everyone keep saying? I'm fine. Seriously, you put my daughter's life in danger just to prove a point. How stupid can you be? Me, put her in danger. That is rich. Okay, that's uncalled for. You just need to calm down. Okay, I don't know you sticking up for me. Calm? How can I be calm when everyone is determined to put me under a microscope, waiting for me to crack? I mean, look at you all. You're just, you're just waiting for me to fall to pieces. Poor Nicole. What a horrible thing. Poor Louisa. You want to know the truth? Yeah, I, I don't care. I don't care. I should feel bad. But I'm glad. I'm glad. I, Cassie and Knox. You have no idea. None of you have any idea. I'm glad that she is dead. <laughs>